uh, it continues. All right. Here we go. Amazon MGM Studios. We are about to start Fallout. We, we tried, you know, but they made the Fallout show anyway. Let's see how it goes. Hey, Dad, man. Hello, sir. That link will be in Admiral Teague's. Uh... Dude, hold on. Good music. That's for sure. Good mm -hmm. music. Oh, well, that didn't change, huh? You're right about the music. At least it's fun, right? Yeah. <laughs> and no one can say modern pop music is from a, like pre-1960. Yeah. Not super pre-1960, though. I don't think we made it back to the 40s. It's a good song. Well, you can see it's uh, definitely set in the, what looks like the 50s. I would say, yeah, like this is contemporary to Happy Days and Laverne and Shirley's. Oh, no, no, those pants are very 1948. I don't know. It, it's very, the, it's, it's the mid to early 50s. Yeah, oh, no kids him. today in this world would be uh, dressed like that. <laughs> yeah, uh, they want to be two on the nose. He man. <laughs> What if it only kind of sort of comes across the edges of your thumb? We get a, uh, maybe some subtitles here, Bill, possibly. Whoop, there we go. Yeah, that's the old shit look on your face. Hey, Dad, man. 
thanks for thanks for dropping by. Appreciate it, bro. Uh, it's up to the gods of the Fallout show whether or not we have a good stream. <laughs> no, hey, that's John. uh that's uh how's Rue doing hell John? coming uh, and here comes the bus. It's only as big as my thumb. Uh huh. This was, uh, you a, know, he's, he's, you know, what life was uh, after, uh, you know, the Bay of Pigs and when, when uh, they parked those missiles in Cuba, you know, this is what, you know, a lot of uh, fallout shelters were made and, <laughs> you know, the, they, they practiced the duck and cover up in the school. <laughs> This must be a really quick prelude because it says uh, it's based in the 21st, 22nd, and 23rd centuries. We're just going to forget about this whole thing. Damn. It doesn't matter what year it was. Look, it this is in L.A. Ago. Griffith Observatory. Like Pelosi got her wish. <laughs> Two hundred and nineteen years later. My dad's father was a pipe fitter. All we really know is it's before 1967, because clearly the fallout shelter wasn't segregated from the fight we saw outside. It's like, no, no, no. You've got to go to the other fallout shelter. I'm sorry, it wasn't integrated. It was segregated. Weird stuff. Thanks, John. Appreciate it. Hmm. Of course, Kyle McLaughlin. The great Kyle McLaughlin, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Well, Kree's on Tatarak, you know. Now, I know that this is basically their society. Anybody play this game out there thinking this is a good representation so far? Not that we have a lot to go on. The Triennial Parade. That sounds like fun. Now, that handheld computer, wrist computer, as they call it, is right out of the video game. Yeah. In 2024, well, we just have our smartphones or dumb phones, as we like to call them. Ah. Uh. Came off like a prom dress.
so a lot of their tech is frozen at the point of the uh, attack, but a lot of their tech is super advanced. Uh, hey, Ed, uh, Admiral Teague, uh, if you want to share the uh, link to the our, our little screening room there, it's in the uh, studio chat, as I like to call it. Oh, I uh, I grabbed it off the uh, group chat of the uh, group chat, and I went over to my channel and threw it up there. Awesome! Yes, everybody's uh, the more the merrier. <laughs> yeah, come on, guys, tell your friends about us. Woo! What's the significance of the 33? Well, that's what Volt they're in, right? 33? That's okay. Yeah. yeah. That's yes, I believe so. And welcome, everybody. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're definitely Volt 33. That, that's... That's their like colony. That like there's thirty two across the way. I've got it. All right, and now I've, I can see where all this memeing and all these uh, characters came from with the uh, blonde haired guy sort of pointing and giving like the uh, hang loose or thumbs up. That could be the title of a TV show. Just <laughs> rearrange the words a little. <laughs> Lucy, I love you. There's something there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm working. I'm trying to figure it out. What could it be? Hey, Mr. House Party 6. Hello, sir. Welcome to the watch party. Anybody who can watch on any of our channels on two devices helps all of us out and makes a bigger footprint for us to bring you more movies. Because really, aside from us, who wants to pay for this? Why does this girl look like Zooey De Chanel, but something went slightly wrong? Hail Masters of the Mechanic Mexico. Welcome. Uh, I believe it's Masters Miskatonic Mexico. Hello, my oh, friend. Miskatonic. Oh, Sorry. Man oh, no, that's this Miskatonic Madman's another one of my friends. Masters Maniac Mexico is his own guy. Oof, Discovery, what a hot mess. It's gonna be it's gonna be a hot mess tomorrow night when we all review that. Uh, you guys are invited, by the way. Hello, Todd <laughs> Howard. Wow, arranged marriages. Who would have thought yes, they would you. do that? <laughs> it couldn't be Desi or Ricky. <laughs> no, it's Monte. Well, Fred, I guess we better get back to your apartment. arranged oh, weddings, Michael. folks. If you arrange for me to have to marry her, I think I'd find a way to be okay with it for at least for a couple of months. <laughs> I love how these people are just shoveling it in. Well, the difference between that, Todd, is um, we are not streaming the show live. We're on Cosme, yeah. so we're uh, less likely to get uh, 
to get copyright struck. Well, we're not going to get copyright struck unless we start sharing images and we get audio bleed. That's important. Yeah, <laughs> that that is important. It well, stars. I, I Ella assume. Per I've never. I heard assume of most Ella people, folks have uh, Prime because who doesn't order something from from Amazon? Um, I order ding dongs from them. Do you ever do that? <laughs> I prefer ring dings, by the way. It's a New Yorker. Hey, I, like I, I, I buy my clothes. I buy my clothes from Amazon now. <laughs> I buy some clothes from Amazon. So she's been in Miss Peregrine's home for Emma or whatever. Wild like a wild, wild like. Yeah. Wild Never life. let me go all the way back in 2010. She must have been a child actor for that and kick ass too. Wasteland, wasteland. Uh, don't forget when you're going outside the vault, bring your Geiger counters. Right, and and just remember, when you make it to 216 years from whenever that shit happened, we'll still be using Sure SM56 microphones, just like Elvis Presley. Lucy McLean. Huh, geez, did the writers take <laughs> something from Die Hard? I wonder. I thought it was Lucy McGillicuddy. Uh, well, McLean's not too, I mean, that's fairly. I think, they, no, I think there were, I think uh, John McLean had a daughter named Lucy. Yeah. <laughs> I never can be sure about these things. Hello, humans. What's up, Thade? Hey, hey hello, Thade. Good to see okay. you. And Tim, hi. If, if you want the link, Thade, uh, I can give it to you if, if you want to join us. This is the third song. So, I mean, that's a mixed signal. Even though they're, they're not modern pop songs. Well, I mean, if, the sh if the show ends up being a uh, total dud and at least they got the soundtrack going for him you know i the mean i've liked what good. i've seen so far I have... well the thing is we've used music with the story we haven't played music and montaged it so that's that's pretty good like i mean captain marvel had what 18 songs in the movie so basically a song was always playing and what, why they play uh, just a girl when she's murdering people is beyond me, but that's our like murder theme. It's very fifth element. Not the overall look. The overall looks drab, but her apartment looks like Dallas, kind of like what you expect the rest of Dallas's apartment would look like. All right. Well, let's what's, what's have some diversity of nudity here. Now, the nudity will be fine as long as it's diverse. Let's see. Tim says it depends on the number of nukes and how long, how much is used for them to stay indoors. And uh, hello, Thade, and saying hello to everybody. And Connie, sixteen times the details. Um. 200 years would be difference making, but I think the re in real life, the half life of the uh, uranium and plutonium and other fun stuff like that is is more like thousands of years. But it's, you know, they have been co cooped up in the ground to ground. <laughs> for 216, yeah, 216 yeah. years. If they're not too far, if they're not <laughs> close. Because I'm assuming people close didn't make it, right? So this these vaults and stuff, they're pretty far away from wherever, whatever happened. Ooh, things are not good outside. Did this vault 
get con- contaminated? What's with this guy? Okay, why does he have a scratch? Yeah, or he's got radioactive mutations. And, um, thank gosh they were tasteful. And we only saw like nudity of him, or this would have been a fun show, huh? Depends on the type of the nudes well, and could... how much was used. Yeah, that's true. We got to give the ladies some eye candy. <laughs> this is like their third time in like one and a half minutes. <laughs> this is like the reverse of Excalibur, where he like goes and, and takes a grain while he's in a full suit of armor. Even if they're far away, the fallout would leak into the ground, says Tim. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well. Creepy. All is not well. Uh, I don't think so. Damn, even his legs gone. Uh, I'm detecting uh, uh, cannibalism, maybe? I'm thinking the way he was, I mean, he maybe it was rigor mortis or something changed it, but he kind of looked like he'd been frozen with like liquid nitrogen and then was like hit with a hammer in a few places. Right, his leg didn't look chewed off; it looked like cracked off. I mean, I gotta be honest. If I woke up and there was some guy like naked in my apartment, I'd be scared I think too. the shit it has hit the fan. That- Oh, yeah, he's radioactive. Welcome to the new world, to the new world. Welcome to the new world. Radioactive, radioactive. Oh, yeah, he's a bad guy. Okay, so we're breaking the rules here because she's, he's, you're not supposed to do things. They testified that their internal reproductive organs were intact. Hello, sci-fi mommy. Good to see you. Hey. Hello, Sci-Fi Mombi. We're watching Fallout so that no one has to pay for it. All right. If she survives this, it's going to start leaning woke because he just kicked the fuck out of her. And she has almost nothing to defend herself with. Well, you can do that. She punched him in his to- in his toxicity, right, right there in his toxic in his to- toxic goals. <laughs> okay, let's just give the show a chance, huh? She's no Mary Sue yet. No, not yet. Friday nights get out of hand. It happens. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> now that, now that. Oh, wait, that knife moved. That was dead center a second ago. Now it was inside. Was it? I. Yeah, it was still like five inches into her. Like, what would that be? Her her liver. Don't call anybody. There might not be anybody left to call. Yeah, something happened to Vault Thirty (laughs) Two. Oh, you're right. But oh, she's relocated from thirty three to thirty two, huh? All the people that were supposed to be in 32 were probably killed. That's why you saw that feral woman at the uh, dinner table. The blonde lady? No, there was like an old lady. She was like stabbing the meat with a knife and taking it off somebody else's plate. 
No, nobody really knew how to use the utensils, honestly. Okay, she's just, I guess those super drugs would be enough. Fine. Anybody watch the game? How are we doing with this stuff? Hey, Tim says, I know nuclear bunker at. Yeah, Arctic the Air shit Force definitely has hit the fan. Has its own water supply and can hold people for two weeks. And there was a last resort in Maryland that they I don't they say they won't use it anymore, but that could be the kind of misinformation the government likes. Railing kill. Bye bye, loser. Another song, guys. I like their choice of music here. <laughs> I, it's it's a it's it's a rearranged version of the song it, from South Pacific. No, Sunday it follows. It's a very guideline of the video game series. To be honest, if this is how the video game goes, it's cool. This screams we didn't want to pay Kyle McLaughlin pretty loud, doesn't it? Because I don't think he's going to survive this uh, incursion into 33. 5,000 Quatsu says that Kyle McLaughlin is slain in the, in the carnage. <laughs> hey, Bello Triggerfish. Good to see you, pal. Hell. Hello, our, hello to all our friends. We know you guys did. have a lot of choices. Oh, so we're really happy it was us. Woohoo! Damn, I thought she was hot, and then they did that to her. Oh, she's gonna survive. So maybe she'll look hot in the eye patch. The pirate looks in, right? Oh, you should use force. Yeah. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> nice vault kill of the week <laughs> okay for for anybody who is not seeing what we're seeing and you're just following along uh with the uh, audio this show is gory as fuck <laughs> we we we've had a lot of hey music, i, I not think modern. that type of stuff though <laughs> she's gonna scalp them oh no okay. they're all right Okay, we have now, uh, we have killed about 18 men, but finally a woman has died. And I'm not sure what they are watching on their version of the volume here. Just a continuous replay of the uh, attacks. Why won't this yeah. guy just die, man? Ah, oh, here we well, go. Kreezart's Hatterack, bitch. Oh, oh Trady's killed. I mean, Kyle McLaughlin got him. Way to go, Dad. <laughs> All right. He went down by Lincoln and got himself a shovel. Oh, he's not done with them yet. Oh, Damn. come on already. <laughs> Die. <laughs> I already like it better than his role in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. You're going to ruin those pickles.
You might want to bring some of that corn back there with you because you're going to need those seeds based on what I saw. Uh, yes, I do plan on doing some karaoke as soon as we're done here. I'm gonna, as soon as I get done here, I will set up a karaoke stream for you all who uh, like to enjoy some karaoke for the night. So, absolutely. Uh, she's always the traitor. Doesn't she look somewhat similar to the chick from Total Recall with Arnold? Is Rachel, Rachel Ticketon? It's not her, though. Oh, Bob, well, Rachel Ticket is like 68. Yeah. It's her granddaughter. But a similar look. Yeah, yes. <laughs> yes, Bella, we're watching the premiere of Fallout. We don't like our live action commentary, play by play. I like Tim's comment. He says uh, he's high on spice. <laughs> Well, yeah. Oh, Tim. This is a live thank reaction, you. of course. Tim, I thank you so much. Tim is actually like a co-correspondent here. He's uh, on Wikipedia. Check it along. Thanks, buddy. Official archivist of the Fallout watch parties. <laughs> if any of you have uh, Fallout game expertise, let me know and uh, I can get you a link. Bello, I don't know if you uh, are an expert in the game. I'm not an expert in the game. I've just, I've just completed in recent year or two. Ooh. Yeah, I knew he wasn't going to make it through the uh, opening episode, but wow, he doesn't make it to the halfway point. Well, he's just uh, tranquilized, oh, right? Is he tranked? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, there are like. That woman there whose eye they gouged out would be like doubled over. I don't care how scared she is. That went well. Meanwhile, movie B. Yeah. Get there so passively, but there's nothing wrong. Ouch. It looks like now we're in another location. It's one of the problems here that we never made it to 1967, so there's no Civil Rights Act. Because this is the second time well, we've seen know. something was, like that. That was a black dude this, kicking his ass. So. One, of them, uh, one of them was black? All right, well, this guy's Maximus, yeah. and uh, I am entertained. Now the chick with, like with John the the, the the chick with the zero with like the number one fade would that be consistent with the game or is this just everyone sort of military in this aspect? You kids should not smoke. <laughs> I've I've counted seven songs. Ah. 
Ow. <laughs> Fair enough, fellow. Fair enough, fellow. That's what they told me in college, too. Ah, yes, the bad year blimp. <laughs> if dude from Rebel Moon's in there, I'm leaving. So we had one story that I guess we would call a vignette. We got an idea what's going on, but then we just sort of hard cut away from them to these other people who appear to be on the surface. So I don't know. Are we jumping around time frames here? And for the first time, we hear their actual uh, music. Probably to train you. Right, but it, I, apparently you can go outside, right? Or they have a really big biodome for training. I think we're going to find out that the people who were in the vaults were probably lied to about uh, being down there and how bad it yeah, was, up, a... or, or not bad up, up top. Because how would they know? They're Look underground. The CGI flies. They look really CGI. I'm glad they're only flies. All right, fellow. We'll see ya. We're going to try, Bello. Wow, they did everything to this chick. She is just might as well be a man. I thought it was Ortegas from Star from Strange New Worlds for a minute till I really got a good look at her because of the bad hair. This would be the eighth song of the show. Oh, they don't have a basketball. Or they don't know about basketball. They only have like a rudimentary idea. Is that guy jerking off? No, I think he was doing push-ups. In his rack? Okay, have fun with that. I'm getting a Starship Troopers vibe here, kind of. Yeah. This part is bit. Starship Troopers like. Yeah. Except the Starship Troopers goals were much more clear. I don't know why they're training these people. Well, cleaning up the shit is a, is a dirty job, and and 
I feel your pain, bro. They weren't that childish about it when the guy when when Dennis Haysbert made everybody do it in Jarhead. Like, oh, you gotta burn the shit. The jet fuel, okay. Someone put a razor in her shoe. Ah, oh, fuck! Jesus Christ! Why do they keep doing this? Did they uh, blow the entire funny. budget on Johnny Cash songs? Is that why Sometimes. this is so weird? I knew it. Oh. Well, you should have checked your shoe. It's like when I lived in Florida and I had to Always shake out all my clothes check before I put your them on. foot gear before you put your foot gear on. I mean, it's kind of common sense, right? That was ominous. All right, so the people from Vault 32 are uh, getting rid of the evidence here. Well, no, they were they're 33. They I think they're disposing of the bad 32 people they they uh set to waste. <laughs> you sure because who's left besides her? Anybody? She's okay, I guess I guess I guess some of them did survive. Okay. Yeah. It was a real strange attack, to be honest with you. It seems like they just wanted to take the uh vault away from the other people. But it's kind of hard to tell where these people have run back to. Did they blow up their own? Did the 32s blow up part of their own base to get a lot of the 33s in an explosion? And who are they hiding this from? I, I just want to know in, in, in a vault world, how the hell did he get chubby when they're living on corn? <laughs> <laughs> And with Leslie Uggams here, I keep waiting for Deadpool to show up. <laughs> uh, I noticed that she's the only one with any ideas who's in charge. Well, her father was the overseer. They might see her as Le Leslie being Uggams in charge, or this man. chick. No, the, this chick. The, the, uh... Oh no! I meant the other one, the uh, Wanda Sykes or whoever the hell it was. Was uh, just like uh, take care, CLS Studio. Studio. Thank you for dropping by. It's good to see you. Okay. Now, I don't rate this as telling us too much, but when your music is all percussion, that's not a great sign. Your your original music, that is. Done well in BSG 2.0, and they saved money on that, but it was done really well. If anyone could watch on two devices to preserve our views, it would help us out. 
Anybody else kind of shocked we work so hard to get paid by such a terrible company and work for Google? No shit is big. It's it's a third. It's you know what I would have appreciated at that edgy conversation was if someone had been like, they did this because they wanted that. Like we just all we know is the people from the other vault are just real violent. Oh, we snap. don't know much else. Damn, girl. <laughs> and she shook off that stab wound pretty easy. I guess the super corn derived drugs are good. We also, how long after the initial incident is this? She's just fine? Yeah, what well, we don't know. Right now, do we? We know because she stitched herself up, but you know, who knows how long it's been. It, she still thinks the father's alive, so. Well, you got to think that because if they wanted him dead, they would have just done it. Yeah. Yeah, we don't know why they sent him up to the surface. Uh, I don't. Deleted. I don't think they would have his name in the credits if he's just going to be in it for one episode. I'm guessing this is going to be about a ten episode season. Guess how many? Guess how many episodes of the Acolyte Trinity is in? She's the whole most most of the uh, coming attractions. Guess how many episodes? Uh, I see they're going to be ten or eight. One, she's in one episode. It's uh, it's uh, Fallout's eight episodes all together, Bill. I'm just saying they, they could have thrown Kyle McLaughlin's name in the credits, and we might not see him again until episode eight or nine. You know what I mean? Hey, Lucy nope. in the sky with diamonds. No shit. <laughs> She's got judgment on par with Ozzy Osbourne here. I'm sorry. That girl's got fire in her veins, man. Like, I want to go rescue my dad so I can give him some shit about that kill steal he took away from me. Because I basically took that guy out and he just drowned in pickle brine to get the kill steal. Ah, it's been a harsh world for the humans above ground. Right. Oh, so they did the Pompeii, from Pompeii thing. Yeah. yeah. You're running out of time. Oh, whoa. what you think within the blast zone, they would have just turned to ash. Like, I we don't know how close you we know, are like to the episode. Terminator 2 or something. And hello we, we to jumped. the view with Drew. What's up? Who is now oh, up to 100 to uh, 880 subs? Congrats! Awesome, way to go. Congratulations, brother Drew. I'll I'll be there in about thirty eight more subs, but you know, onward and upward. Get that one K. I want to say hello to everybody that uh, I missed in the chat. Uh, Mister House Party Six, John Sapola. Don't forget to say hello to Rue. John Sapola's uh, friendly hound. A.K.A. Tim. Sapphire Mombi. And CLS Studio. We're about, let me see. Uh, 50 code. minutes, 20 seconds in. <laughs> 50, you said 15? 50. It's a long, 
this it's so dense with events, but we need some info now. Hopefully, we get it here. <laughs> the refrigerator. Oh, oh no! Is that a picture? <laughs> oh, no, they did it. No, they fucking did Light it. Shelter. It had some kind of weird label on top. We had our our <laughs> Indiana Jones four uh, moment there. Uh, I missed when Indiana Jones 4 was the worst Indiana Jones movie. <laughs> Anybody else? Yeah. We took it for granted that there would never be a worse movie. Well, okay, to be fair, and, uh, we just saw him coming out of a refrigerator. Doesn't mean he survived the blast and the Holocaust in the refrigerator. We don't know why he no. was in the refrigerator, but he was hiding in a refrigerator. I'm still not. This guy is interrogating him here. He was in Die Hard 3. Deleted, man. Good good memory. I'm... Ladies and gentlemen, Deleted's other job is with uh, the missing persons division of his local police department. Don't tell anyone, though. Hmm. That was a good catch. Hey, Mikey. Hey. Hello. How you doing, Mikey? Going good on? to see you, buddy. Hey, Mikey. Good to see everybody. If anybody out there has played the game, give us your opinions in the comments about whether they're being true to the idea. Because it's, it's weird. I'll give it that. It's very weird. And gory. Well, it's a rated M game, so I got to figure. Yeah. I'll BRB, guys. Keep me uh, in the loop. You took me as a child. You trained me to be a soldier. You have me burning shit. Can I be a Jedi now?
what I miss. All right. Uh, Mike is asking, have we seen Kyle McLaughlin yet? Y yes, we have. We've seen him. Uh, he's disappeared in jeopardy is the best way to put it. And hello to LDG. Hey, what's up, buddy? Good to see you. I think it, I think it's fine. Hello, LDG. Yeah, the the jury's out, but it's 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 not fifty one percent bad. It's at least fifty one percent good. Is that a, a pretty much where we're at right now mentally? It could go either way still, but it's yeah. looking all right. I'm digging it so far. No, I, I'm not disliking it, although. If they're just going to stay with the darkness and the gore the whole time, I don't know how much I want to see, you know? And has anything happened to, to give mm. us an indication that all these events are happening at the same time? Uh, we don't know if we're time hopping around yet. I think it's going on at the same time. Yeah, I close. think these are all events that in the current current timeline 219 years from the uh apocalypse roughly yeah and this is are just different storylines within yeah within the complete story and they uh they threw in cleric that's very equilibrium of them i get where they're going with this this part anyway I'd like to thank everybody because we did have a record breaking 14 beginning uh, watching with us oh. at the beginning. So that was awesome. Got Guys, we just humbly ask, especially for Jedi Bill, just, you know, uh, on behalf of everyone, if you're watching on any of our channels, if you could watch on two devices, it would super help us out. And we'd be able to bring you more shows that you don't want to have to pay for yourself. Uh, yeah, I plan to. I, however, can plan on being continue the whole series. So, if you guys are interested, uh, if you're liking the show, I will be doing this uh, as it comes on and uh, do the live commentary thing and give me voice my opinions on it. We got to get a lore expert on this game. We need a gamer for for one, but at least now it's taking on a more familiar look. And we're marshalling out to fight. We don't know who. When it all comes down to it, I like the video game, and I want I want the show to be good and not have a message. And it so far what I've seen so far, it hasn't. I mean, it it, yeah. it has it was, it's staying true to a lot of beats from the game, but it's also its own entity where you don't have to uh, be a game player of of the game series or franchise. Yeah. But only time will tell as the uh, season progresses. All right. This character looks familiar. And hello, Lady Mist. Oh, snap. Okay, he's down. Hey, Lady Mist. Thanks, everybody who, right. who is watching That's on two right. devices. I saw the view count jump up. Thank you so much. We really do appreciate you. And, uh, that Michael T. Williamson there? Yeah. Uh, anybody who wants to tweet out the stream, that's cool, too. Hey, old Daniel's Hot Topics. Good to see you. Hey, my friend Daniel. Hello, buddy. So feral people are the people who've gotten dosed with radiation, or that's they're just afraid of this chicken.
This is the longest we've gone without a song, so maybe the show's starting to really find its way. Why does some music bother you? I I, I like the factor that that music. I'm a music I fan. Like I like the music, I'm and it's following the game beat for beat as far as the music goes. I mean, I mean, right. the quality of music and you know old timely stuff like that. The music was well selected and they played a lot of it in the first few minutes, but now they're kind of, we're hearing a little bit of their original music. I don't know if it's the music from the game. Well, it, I, you should do, you could do, you, Teague, you could do some homework. You can watch on, you could look, search Fallout. Like I'd suggest start with maybe Fallout 4. There, they have part. People have on the on the tube here where they've done their gameplay, and that would be a good uh, start. And uh, maybe watch a few episodes of of the game walkthrough play, and maybe you could get a better idea of what what the Fallout is. I'll be up to speed by next week. <laughs> well, I, I I'm not the, I'm not an expert, but I from what I've enjoyed playing the game. So I'm, um, you know, I'm, I'm not the game's biggest fan, but it did, and uh, when it came out many years ago, it was game of the year several times. The series three, uh, in the series, and uh, four, and then there's Fallout Vegas. So Video games this is a very pop life. culturist and has a, you know. No, I'd say the fact it's, it's that it, very... it's, uh, it's amazing that we can uh, have an adaptation into a, a TV show and, and not a film. Like, well, there's been a lot of films crossovers from video games. Yeah, that has a hell of a makeup job on Walter Guggins. <laughs> I'd like to know how he survived 200, unless he was probably one of the people who somehow made it into the vault. <laughs> Well, I think the fact that they had IVs and all uh, hooked up to his grave is uh, something of a, at least part of how he survived. Not, Hail, not to Commodore, oh, Jim's Landscape, the you Admiral. Great to see you, pal. Getting, uh, he's back to Commodore now. It's nice to see that uh, oh. I, I, I remain the lone Admiral. Did I scare you out of being an Admiral, Jim? Is that it? Because you know, if you if you rename yourself Admiral, I'll, I'll be right over there. The ghoul. My best guess is he's so old because he's some kind of radioactive zombie. Well, he was there back in the fifties when uh, right the apocalypse started. So. Yeah, think, think Omega Man with this guy, or I am legend. Good night, John. Take care, John Chipola. Good night, John. It's good seeing you.
And the chicken's like, so I'm like, bait. And there's right. episode one. It was interesting. Definitely want to find out about what's going on in episode two. Um, I could have used a little more context, but it wasn't bad. I enjoyed this first episode. Yeah, no, I, no, I I'm looking it. forward to episode two. It did a couple of things that are usually signs that the show's in trouble. Like, there was 20 minutes of non like uh, just semi-modern pop songs, which is a popular criticism. So I kind of got my kind of kind of got my attention, but it didn't really turn out to be a problem. And their own Fallout song is pretty hilarious, unless this is someone else's song. I think this is original here. Somebody hold your uh, phone up and hit Shazam. Only five producers. They would never be able to make Star Trek Discovery. They would need at least 19 more. They were getting that little uh, peek at neck, the neck of stuff, I'm guessing. It started out looking like an after credit thing, but yeah, it looks like coming attractions now. Hey, Michael Emerson. Hail the jolly guitarist. Hey there. Everybody start yes. to filter back in. The answer, yes, I will be watching and reviewing episode two live as it as it comes available. You're welcome to join me here on, on the Jedi Bill channel for that. Right. Because unlike horrible stuff. I'm going to do the whole stuff. season, folks. Bo ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages. Hey, if I could do Star Trek Discovery, someone could do Fallout. There's no way it's as bad as Star Trek Discovery. At least this show had something to do with Fallout. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, eleven producers. That's the same amount as uh, Secret Invasion. But Secret Invasion was already terrible by the time we got to the end of episode one. I'm gonna say that this is fairly good. A little wobbly. It looked like it was gonna go girl boss, but then it sort of self corrected with the uh, with the second story of the boot camp it was a little more interesting. Or, or at least a little more contextualized and gave us an idea of what's going on. And and uh, I would predict next week uh, these two dip, disparate storylines will probably unite, right? Or or get closer to it. Oh, I got yeah, to think. Yeah, yeah. yeah you would if, think. If I, had a, if I was going to make a prediction... Or really three storylines, really. Would the third one be what happened to Kyle? No, no. That's yeah, the I'm first sure. storyline. Walton yeah. Goggins is okay. the third storyline. Okay. 
I I I like what I've seen here today. Yeah, so um, I, yeah. I say I give it about a seven and a half out of ten. You know, it wasn't not knock you off your knock your socks off, but it was interesting enough. It they did a good to job to have of me come environment. Re, to have me come back. It looked complete. They had a complete aesthetic. It looked like a, a different world. I'll give them that. It was. It didn't look cheap and crappy. Like, what's a good? This was worlds better than any episode of Book of Boba Fett. Goes without saying, I guess, but it just I'll say it. Yeah, I'm gonna watch episode two of this. This that wasn't bad. Yeah, well, like I said, if you're not familiar with the video game, you could. There's lots of walkthroughs you can watch in various parts to get your a little bit familiar with the series. But all in all, for uh, those who aren't familiar with the video game series, this was pretty darn good um, thus far, and. Uh, I am really intrigued and interested in watching the rest of the season. <laughs> I don't know how well the rest of the season will. Uh, only time will tell uh, with the next episode mm -hmm. as we do this, as I do this episode by episode. Uh, I don't I, know uh, if the story is as good as the game. Oh, go ahead, Delaney. You know, I'm I'm not. I haven't the said world. it yet. Oh, anyway, I'm not. Um, I thought, it was, I thought that ahead, was you. It was Bill. Please. I'm sorry. Yeah, that was, that was me. That was me. Hello. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna take a quick break. I'm gonna shut up uh, the karaoke stream for uh, you karaoke enthusiasts who who might want to join me. We'll do some singing of the karaoke. Oh. I'll I'll take a we'll be singing quick songs break. from Fallout. <laughs> <laughs> well, I might sing a couple. I might sing like this old timely, old timely music. They hmm. had a couple of songs I recognized in there. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Like there was a point there where it was. It looked like they were just going to go weird and gory, but then there was enough story and context. They. They didn't give us a lot about what's going on, but they did show us a lot about the characters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> they. I did. I, I see. I know the video game, and it is right. an M-rated video game, so it's right in line with the video game series. So <laughs> that's that doesn't phase me and doesn't bother me. You know. Oh so, yeah, it was definitely Carnage Candy Supreme. Well said, Dade. Well said. Yeah. And if they, if this show continue, continues being well paced, and it was today, if this show continues being well paced, my my feeling is like we'll get enough information by episodes two and three to kind of know enough, you know, like we'll, because we'll be very close to the middle. So uh, it's 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 tracking well. I, I had no issues. Uh, with the this. produce the producers behind this show also did uh, one of my favorite uh, recent shows, Person of Interest. So and it looks like. Uh, a lot of the same people, not only behind the camera, but also in front. So uh, I did spot Michael Emerson there in the uh, in the uh, coming attractions. And of course, he was a serious regular and person of interest as well. So I'm looking forward to see what they do with him. Um, I knew I didn't know a whole lot about Fallout going in. Guys, I'm in. I dug this. Is it perfect? No. But, uh, yeah, all right, I'm in it for the ride. Anybody want to give it a let's, let's one through else. 10 or an A through F? Uh, well, that's I, what I, I, I'd say, like, a right now, seven five. Yeah, that's 7. what I that's 5. what I said. I said you're, I give it a seven yeah, out of five, far. rating out of 10. So yeah, you're not far from where I where I am. I, I sort of feel uh, just about the same way. 
uh, it, for it, at least it as far as it wasn't so. knock your socks off, but it wasn't like cringe worthy. It wasn't terrible. No. It, it, it had me no. intrigued, and I was involved in this. What was going on? And, I and I'm, I'm highly interested in what will be coming. You know. Yeah, I I wasn't bored like I was watching Halo. Yeah, because that, okay. that one song is like straight out of the trailer for the game. So, mm -hmm. yeah. No, I, did, I, said, didn't, it, I didn't so much mind the music, but when if it had kept on piling up the way it was, if we had gotten to like 16 songs or something like that, that would have been a little gratuitous. That's all I'm saying with that one. Usually the things that get me sort of like alarmed are either a very bad low effort cover, and we didn't get any of those, the – a lot of money was spent on music rights for this, though. Those, those Johnny Cash songs don't come cheap. Oh, indeed. Uh, he Ryan also Gerardi did the music for Westworld. He also he also did Game of Thrones and yeah, Person of Game Interest, of Thrones. So. He's a very good yeah. uh, composer and Pacific Rim. When the yeah. compose when when their original music came in, it was really good. It sounds like the guy listens to a lot of Hans Zimmer, didn't it? I mean, not exactly the same style, but it sounds like maybe he was a fan. Good night, the Jolly Guitarist. Thank you for tuning in. And, I, and, and, and thank you. And, uh, and of course, subscribe to all of our uh, channels if you have not already. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, thank you, everyone. Fallout episode one, in context, it was like a 75, a 7.5. Uh, it was, it made sense. To, without giving away too much information more information would be good uh everyone seems to think it's true to the game i can't comment on that but okay good that's a good thing when it happens um the music looked like it was going to be like kind of being used as a narrative tool but it it was used as a narrative tool correctly it wasn't used to shortcut through things so i'm fine with the music it was remarkable how much they used, but it was used well. And Mikey says uh, three out of five for him. Yeah, that's about where I'm. I'm at. Kind of like I'm at like about a three point two five, maybe ish, around that area. Yeah, three, three, three out of five is pretty close to seven out of ten, right? We're we're, we're all in the same neighborhood with this one. Yeah. And we've all been burned a few times, so we're going to be a little bit careful before we start throwing tens around. Yeah. We've seen shows um, fall off a cliff before. Hopefully yeah, that happen I don't with do, this one, I don't, but if don't it does, do tens. Yeah, um, I, I will... There's, is there a ten in existence, like Raiders of the Lost Ark or something? Just to give me an idea where you're coming from with this one. Do tens exist? Do tens exist? They used to. But yeah. they're yeah, very yeah, rare. rare. They're very rare now. Yeah. It, uh, if if the series if uh, if the series knocked my socks up and blew me out of the water and I knew more about the video game, I would probably give it a ten. But yeah, seven point five is right where I stand right now. Like since we're talking TV it, shows and entertainment, what's like a ten or a nine? Empire Strikes Back is like a ten, right? Wrath of Khan is a ten. Um, Top Gun Maverick was close to a ten, as far as I'm concerned. Um, that was a ten for me. There's for what there's an independent there's an independent western that came out a few years ago called Old Henry that to me was pretty close to a ten. Um, Late Night with the Devil is like a, an eight point five to maybe even a nine for me. Um, Where was Twin Peaks: The Return? Did you watch that? Have you are you up to that? Oh, yeah, I know you're watching no, Twin I, Peaks. I, proper. I am watching Twin Peaks. Uh, Live from Spark One Twenty One, my uh, my uh, Twin Peaks retrospective series Tuesday nights eight thirty, folks. Uh, we are not up to season three yet. I'm I'm staying away from like spoilers or anything having to do with season three because when we it's not to it season. on the show, that's going to be me watching it for the first time and your my genuine reaction to it. So I don't. I'm, I don't think they get 22 episodes into in in season three. Like, 
you know the deal. It was never supposed to be yeah, a I show. Think, I think it's, I think it's like did really well. Yeah, it's, it was doing so poorly. They just, they just wanted it gone, and he was just not didn't want anything to do with it. Uh, and then that movie came out, and without getting into it, it didn't answer many questions. It raised more questions than it answered. But that's well, David yeah. Lynch gets a pass on that because he's David Lynch. He, Ryan Johnson does not get a pass. David Lynch does. Mikey says 2001 is a 10 to him. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine yeah, with that. Yeah, 2001 um, Avengers Endgame 10. I don't know if I would go that high on Endgame, hey. but uh, Infinity it's War fine. I, I, like actually. It. I like Infinity War better than Endgame, so I'm going to say Endgame is like an 8, maybe a 7. Return By the middle of Endgame, it's starting to spin down into garbage. The time travel stuff just really messes it up. I don't hate it, but it really Return of the King stuff. 10. According to Return of the King's a 10. Yeah. Return of the King's oh, good. The, all three of those movies are 10s. All three of those movies are 10s. There's no problem with any one of them. Tolkien purists had problems with them at the time. They were furious. A lot of them reconsidering it now in the face of rings of power, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. Tombstone is a 10 they, to you. You know what? Tombstone so. might just be a 10. It's That is, that is a defensible <laughs> position. You know, like, uh, this is objective thing. So your 10s, someone might say, no, that's not a 10. But, you know, if you're able to make a decent yeah. enough argument for it, you know, you're then it's a 10. Just my, be, and, Mikey and, says know, it's with, really with hard. Give me. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, Mikey says it's really hard to find any kind of TV series uh, reaching a 10 status ranking. Um, the last one that did, well, I keep bringing it up because it's the same people who do this show. Person of Interest was the last one reached a 10 for me as far as a TV show is concerned. Um, uh, lost uh, Battle of Galactic is a 10. Um, yeah, actually, you took the words right out of my mouth at BSG. Yeah. Yeah. Babylon you're 5. You're talking about 2.0, right? You're talking about BSG 2. Um, yeah. Yeah, 04 or whatever it might be. Yeah. I can't believe it's been that long already. Right? It's been as long 20 years the series and now as it was between the first series and the second series. Yeah. Yeah. So Galactica 1 was 44 freaking years ago. Or so they tell me. It's not like I was around to see it. Well, so I was. So, yeah. I'm kidding. Yeah. I, 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 I'm a Highlander. <laughs> but yeah, join us here each week, my friends. You're sure to get an episode of of Halo of uh, Fallout. We won't be uh, showing you that Halo stuff. And uh, hey, at least they made a, mo a show out of this rather than Cyberpunk. I don't know how much I liked that game. SG one, yeah, SG one was good. Um, my my dad was more into the start was into the Stargate shows more than than I was really, um, but there may be something I need to uh, to revisit. Everyone, talks I don't know about their SG one series as being the like, the culmination of the of the whole idea, but it's hard to believe that hmm. you know from the mind of Roland Emmerich, so to speak, it's like really he pulled this off. It's entertaining, you know. It's it, it's got so much to it. They made what? about 12 seasons of TV between the three different. Yeah, but he, he, he didn't really have anything to do with the series though. Just a, no, he didn't. And he didn't write the movie. He's a director, hmm. but it's still kind of weird. The, the only probably one better than the movie. The only one I really had issue with was uh, Stargate universe. Because Galactica had been on for a while at that time. And they were constantly telling the producers of Stargate Universe to go dark, be more like Galactica. And that was the problem with it. Was it was too busy trying to be BSG and it wasn't its own thing. But that's my opinion on that. On that. Uh, so Bill... All right, Wednesday night karaoke. When are you going to be starting up with uh, with that? Uh, yes, uh, um, here in a couple, in about twenty three minutes. Going to take a quick break. 
you know, for those who need a break, I need a break, little break myself. And, uh, but it's all set up and ready to go. And we'll sing for a couple of, for a couple hours right. at least. Uh, I'm not going to be able to join you for that, unfortunately. Um, I do want to remind everyone, since we're fixing to close it out here, uh, uh, join me uh, tomorrow at uh, 7 p.m. Um, I'm going to be having a uh, my first member stream. Of course, join me and Bill tomorrow at 4.30 uh, yep. for Action Theater. Where we're going to be watching up, uh, The Beekeeper. Um, yep. What time zone, guys? Uh, Pacific, Eastern. Well, it's Mountain. All times Eastern. Yeah. Deleted mm -hmm. is giving the times in Eastern. I'm, uh, am I correct? Yeah. yeah. Just so everybody <laughs> the time <knows>. for you. <laughs> yeah. yeah the, the same time that it is where I am. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Just so everyone knows. Right. Yeah. And there'll be some tweets and some community tab notices. And uh, join wow. me tomorrow for the third thrilling installment of the, the TV event of the decade. The end of Star Trek Discovery. We stopped Kelvin 4. This is the end of Star Trek Discovery. I count that as two wins. Uh, Thade asks, does anyone remember a Spielberg miniseries called Taken that came out a decade or two ago? I do remember Taken. They made a Taken series. No, 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 no. Uh, well, I mean, they did make a Taken series. But this was about um, alien abduction, and it was oh, okay. on the Sci-Fi Channel, and Spielberg was the producer of it. Uh, Dakota Fanning is in it. Okay. Uh, Matt Frewer is in it. It was a miniseries. There were a lot I of people. Um, the chick Matt from the Brewer first the um, Blair Witch TNG. was in it. I saw something about Blair uh, Witch remake today. I hope that's not the case. I. Yeah, apparent. Yeah, I I don't know the whole story, folks. I I came in today and I heard about this. Apparently, Bloomhouse or it's a re of all fucking people, um, apparently announced that they are doing a Blair Witch reboot. Did they say reboot or re-release? And what? just is is it a re-release or a reboot? They they're gonna reboot it. Reboot. That movie did well because, and, and all the sequels failed because the first movie was thought to be real for like three weekends and then like it got around to everybody that it wasn't. So I don't know, you know, yeah. like going back to the well, you know, it's sort of like, like when J.J. Abrams said, oh, it's not Khan, it's not Khan, it's a new, a new villain. And then like an hour into the movie, it's like, oh, it's Khan. It's like, what what did you expect to get out of that after the first showing? Like like there's no internet. I I, I didn't understand. I, sometimes I don't understand these choices. But well, show, let's not so let's bad. not let's not jump off the cliff. We we don't have any information. This could be an announcement. We'll find out two weeks from now. Oh, it's canceled. You know. So right. like um, that that bond they announced, let's, or they that was said to be announced. or. You know what they could be trying to do? And I'll make this quick, Bill, because I know you need to go. Um, okay. My thinking, my thinking is, what if they're putting this up as a trial balloon to see how interested people are going to be? Because my, my thought is this. Because what they could do is they could put up the trial balloon. Hey, we're going we're gonna to reboot Blair Witch. They're going to see what the reaction is. And then uh, when they don't get the reaction they want, they can always go, hey, you know, um, we decided the script wasn't ready or the director pulled out or we were talking to some actors and they all said, no, or, you know what, we just don't want to do it right now. We're going to put it on the back tornado. burner, you know. We were all ready to go, but a tornado took out the set. Yeah. It's like kind of hard to believe that they would be redoing Blair Witch already. It seems like it really hasn't passed that far out of popular memory yet for them to go after it. It's just no. maybe we're just old. I don't know. But to me, Blair Witch, you know, how long did it stop making the rounds on like TV? You know, it was, it was kind of a cult classic. If anything, the Sela, the, 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 the sequels kind of killed that movie. Yeah.
Right. You know, All right. The, well, the first um, I ever heard of the Blair Witch movie. Okay, go ahead. No, no, no. I was just going to uh, uh, thank everybody real quick for joining us on Bill's channel, on mine, uh, on Teague's channel, Rumble. Uh, you, we had a lot of yeah. friends here. We put we put this uh, we put this together uh, pretty quickly. I certainly did not have this in my original plan for today, but here I am. Um, <laughs> so uh, thank you, the underground. Thank yeah, you, good Bill. Job, Jedi, for, uh, Bill. Bravo. Sh Shay hanging, uh, shanghaiing me uh, uh, into um, uh, Fallout. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah. Um, so um um i'll i'll take care of my end of things with um my final uh, usual last words uh thank you all very much for being here um stay tuned to your to the uh, community pages and uh keep your notifications and all on for uh when we might do episode two here and uh as uh, i always say from hq and our second home office in arizona in all points north south east and west and beyond good night. take care stay strong because this is how we win take it easy everybody good night have a wonderful time uh, all right. <laughs> all right. Well, we uh starting up the karaoke stream for you karaoke enthusiasts. If you want to hear some good music, some good song, or come sing a song or two, you could you're welcome Thank to do so. As always, we're Thank gonna do the panel. <laughs> Thank you, Lady V and Lady Miss, for the wonderful compliments and emojis. That's very nice of you. You're welcome. So I'll be seeing you shortly on the other stream because <laughs> uh, we're going to get, yeah, I feel like singing. And of course, you know, others want to sing too. So I, I, I welcome you guys to come over, uh, drop in, ha have a listen for a few songs. Maybe, maybe if you want to request some songs, so we, you can do that too. <laughs> uh, until then, uh, and uh, 10 minutes and 10 minutes, uh, we'll be going live uh, with karaoke. So uh, we'll see uh, some of you in 10 minutes <laughs> from HQ. Uh, we'll be seeing you later, folks. And come back, join us for the next uh, Fallout episode two. Bye bye for now. <laughs>